What's up everybody, Lion here, and welcome to the all new Realm of Ice season in Dauntless. We got a couple of things to go over in this video, the first thing being the all new Hunt Pass, and the second thing being the long awaited Frost Escalation, aka Fresca. Hope you guys enjoy the video, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. During the Realm of Ice season, you guys will be running around Ramsgate collecting the Winter Suns. That's going to be the currency for this season's Hunt Pass. Alright lads, this is it. This is the Realm of Ice Hunt Pass. 10 pages of greatness. You got the free and elite track. Both tracks bolstering really, really cool prizes. So, first page, free track, ace chips, bounty tokens, platinum. Elite track, Polar Aurora Transmog set. Fancy schmancy bobancy. Aether Sparks. Platinum. The Frostform Claimer. Look at this sword. Absolutely epic. Nice and fluffy, icy. Perfect for the season. When we've got the uh, Skylights, aka Northern Lights. Emote. Second page. Pink hair. Yep, that's right. There is pink hair dye in this on pass. Bounty Tokens, Platinum, Winter Sunlight, Patrol Keys. The free track is going to get 500 ramps, 75 combat merits, and a nifty little emoji called an Adversary's Glare. Kind of looks like the new wolf in Frost Escalation, which we'll show you guys later. Page 3, free track, more ramps more merits and a polaris banner sigil looking pretty sharp elite track's gonna get a nice borealis die paladin's beacon banner fabric more platinum some marks and the frost form crush guard fancy fancy next page Free track, more rams, more merits, and some patrol keys. Elite track, gonna get some bounty tokens. Combat merits, platinum, patrol keys. Fancy schmancy warpike skin. Oh yeah, the frost form gun spare. Next page. Free track is gonna get more gold, more merits. We're starting to see a pattern here. Golden Merits. Lots of gold and lots of merits. Lots of rams, sorry. And lots of merits for the free track. Aether Sparks. Elite track is going to get Steel Marks. The Heavy Drifts Body Armor Transmog. Look at that. So they're starting to put in armor transmogs and things instead of just weapon transmogs in the Hunt Pass tracks now. Other than the two main transmogs that you get. So I think that's cool. Nice addition to the track here. More plat, more ace chips, and these lovely little frozen punchers. AKA Aether Striker skins. Frost form, Smokrins. Next page, guys, next page. Free track's gonna get more ramps and patrol keys, and the Polaris signal flare to go with your banner sigil. Not bad, not bad. The elite track's gonna get some merits, a diamond for their forehead. Some more platinum. Bounty tokens. And these lovely chain blades. Really liking the look of these new chain blades. I'd like to see more chain blade skins in the future. Maybe a legendary skin. Maybe some, you know, some chain blade only skins. Uh, like some of the other weapons are getting soon. But for now, this is great. Next page, the break free emote. Look at that. All right, free track's gonna get rams, another emoji, and some more platinum back. Free track getting a lot of platinum. I think that's pretty cool. So you're pretty much getting free platinum this se this season here. Elite track, like you saw, break free emote, patrol keys, platinum, merits. And this lovely frost form head pull axe transmog.
Next page. Free track. Rams. Patrol keys. A rumor. The eyes grip. Hammer. So, free track getting a hammer skin. Look at that. Looking nice. Now, as you can see, there's going to be a new variant called Deep Frost Scarn. And that's the hammer for it. So, they're starting to come out with weapons, armors, and such again for the variants. Just like before, the rumors in the previous seasons. It's going to be some new rumors this season as well, it looks like. Steel Marks. Solar Wind Banner Emote for the Elite Track. More Platinum. Patrol Keys. And the Frost Form Sagunans. A.K.A. the Repeater Transmog. Next page, guys. Free Track's gonna get Rams, Patrol Key, this cool little Booster Chair Emote. And 50 Plat. This page is stacked for the free track. Elite track is going to get steel marks, bounty tokens, platinum, patrol keys, and this lovely impact winter arrival. Last page, guys. Stacked for the free track. Rams, platinum, patrol keys, the deep frost scar and helm, the Eisgrith Jehelm. Jehlim. Jellum. I don't know how to say this. If anyone does, let me know in the comments. Boom. They're not showing a preview of it. They want, they want it to be a surprise. Big surprise. And finally, you guys will get the Paladin of Vilmar. Character title. Elite track. Final page is going to get Merits. Patrol key. Platinum. Aether Sparks. And finally... This season's theme, the Realm of Ice Paladin. Absolutely brilliant transmog. Beautiful set. Bolstering some shaky little, I don't even know what these are. Again, leave in comments what you think these are. But there it is, guys. The Paladin Spirit. So hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Realm of Ice HUD Pass preview. We're going to move over to the Escalation section of the video. If you have any questions about the HUD Pass, like I said, feel free to ask them in the comment section. We'll see you guys over at Fresca. Let's go. There's going to be four new rumors available this season. One hammer, one striker, and two helms. Here they are here. The Eisgrith Jehelm, the Eisgrith Hammer, the Thorns of Dusk, and the Searing Dawn. So you guys are going to have four new rumors, four new pieces to farm up with a bunch of new quest lines. Oh yeah. Alright, so one of the first things you're going to come across in this new Realm of Ice season, after you talk to Marcus Boar, is <clears throat> you're going to get a quest called The Call of Kaltaga. So if you open your map, you go to missions, you'll see it there after you talk to him. And you're going to have to complete this quest twice, and it will earn you uh, Heaven's Die and some Rams. So that's the first thing we're going to do before uh, we uh, start our process to unlocking Fresca. So let's do that first. arrival love it all right so you guys are gonna have to fight this majestic beast Keltaga here's Linnea Silver she's been wounded she's looking weak guys let's go help her out looks like this legendary bird is just up ahead here you fight this guy two times you get a heaven's die which is a nice blue and uh, a bunch of rams
mercy. GG. So that's the new legendary bird here, Kaltaga. It's it's not so much that he's new, he's just kind of like a prehistoric scrave. So you're gonna have to fight him twice. Help out Leonea Silver. And like I said, you guys are gonna be rewarded with a, a, an all new blue die and some rares. Best of luck fighting the prehistoric scrape, lads. Kaltaga, the scourge of the Skaldish Highlands. Alright, so now that we defeated Kaltaga twice, let's claim our reward from Marcus. Boom. Heaven die. 500 rams. Alright, now that we're done that side quest, we're gonna go ahead and start the process to unlock Fresca. So let's do it. Alright lads, so now that we've completed the side quest, uh, the slaying of Kaltaga, we got that nifty new die, some, some rams, we are going to head on over to our Slayer's Path. And as you can see, there is a new escalation node. So for 50 exploration merits, you can unlock Frost Escalation. Boom. Bam. Frost Escalation has been unlocked. So that's how you guys are going to unlock it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, let's head on over to Ark and Drew and go check out the new lantern. All right, lads, so we're over with Ark and Drew here, and this is the all new Fresca Lantern. As usual, you've got the, uh, the six levels here. You get your power boosts, you get your merits, your extra amp, and of course, the legendary cosmetic set at the very end. I think they really did a good job on Urska and the Urska set here is really nice. I really like the Brain Freeze Helm. Uh, the Adversary's Tomb fabric and the Adversary's vis Visage uh, are really nice as well. Hope you guys enjoy that set. So this is the Lantern. Uh, there's, some new, uh, there's some new perks and things here. So I'll go over each node with you. Uh, frozen Armor, gaining a Frost Defender Amp. Grants a 25 shield that refreshes every 10 seconds. Each additional Frost Defender Amp required adds 25 additional shield. So, shielding. Size Maneuvers is here. Far Slayer's Precision for wounding. Insulated Gear. So, uh, you acquire Frostbite less. More insulated gear. Foreman's Might. Giving you more stagger damage. Hot and cold. More attack speed, but you take more damage. You also gain more frostbite. Moira's reinforcements here. More damage for you. Damage reduction, sorry, for you. Bottled warmth. Let's go, dude. Braziers continue to prevent frostbite buildup for 8 seconds. So as you're going through frost escalation, you'll see braziers of fire that you run by, and it will lower your frostbite meter. Um, if your frostbite meter maxes out, you just freeze into an ice cube. So, bottled warmth will lengthen the buff that you get from the braziers, keeping your frostbite lower for uh, 8 seconds longer. More insulated gear. So there's a lot of amps geared towards preventing the frostbite. Uh, if you find that you're newer to the game or you're not at end game and it's taking you a long time to finish frost escalation you're definitely going to want to look at these amps uh, and getting these amps into your uh, into your build while you run frost escalation like I said especially for the first time and if you're not at end game these are these are very good amps to help uh, heated blade absorbing the flame from a brazier causes your next attack to deal 50 percent more damage. There you go, guys. Kind of like picking up a Crimson Agate in Genshin. That's what Heated Blade is. 
Warm Blooded. The first time you would become frostbitten each run, immediately reduce your frostbite buildup by 50%. This is really cool. Uh, if you're somebody who's kind of like switching over to being at endgame and you're not needing all of the other helpful amps anymore, you can get rid of all of the helpful amps and you can just use Warm Blooded. And it's it's definitely something that, that really will help. Cat's Claws is here. More attack damage all around for you. Never bothered me. When Frostbite falls below 50, it rapidly fills back to 50, gaining 15% passive attack damage and damage reduction. So that's really cool to have as well. Like I said, it's another amp that you'll probably use when you're converting over to a more endgame, stronger style build. Lucky Strikes. Lady Luck's shared mysterious knowledge of Behemoths is granted 5% passive crit strike chance. So there you go, guys. Lots of damage, lots of crit strike increase. Uh, you can really focus on a DPS style build if you uh, mix the right amps together here. Cold Rush. When a Behemoth dies, you gain 25% increased move speed, 15% increased attack speed, and 10% increased damage for one minute. This is really good. I highly recommend this one, no matter what. And then we've got the final four, I call them. Uh, these are really strong amps that are going to have uh, huge effects on your runs. So the first one is Aspect of the Warrior. Your critical strikes will deal 10% more damage. And this is increased to 20 if you are the Avatar of Destruction. And we'll get more into the uh, Avatar Boons uh, when we get onto the Frost Escalation field. So there's, like I said, there's four boons, which I'll show you there. And they're all, each one is mixed in with one of these final amps. So that was the destruction avatar. This is the control avatar. When a behemoth becomes staggered, you will gain 2% increased attack speed for the remainder of the escalation. And that is doubled to 4% if you're using the avatar of control. Uh, this, the avatar of destruction is geared towards critical strikes. The avatar of control is geared toward increased stagger damage. Uh, then you have the Avatar of Subtlety. It's when a Behemoth part is wounded, so it's geared towards wounding. You gain 2% increased damage for the remainder of the Escalation. This is increased to 4% if you have the Subtlety Avatar. And last but not least, the Avatar of Unity, which is a support uh, boon. Pulse 25 healing to all allies within a short distance every 5 seconds, and it's doubled to 50 if you have the Unity Avatar. So, this is the new lantern for frost escalation it's got a lot of really new creative things to it as well uh like i said there's these avatars that have been added in and we'll get into those when we get into the escalation so hope you guys enjoyed this hope you guys enjoyed this lantern and setting it up in a bunch of different ways uh for all you support players out there dps players out there team players out there this is going to be great all right so hope you enjoyed Let's head over to the Frost Escalation. All right, lads, let's go. There's also the lower level Frost Escalation, uh, and there is a tutorial that you'll be able to do as well. But I'm just gonna show you guys the, the high-end Frost Escalation that everyone wants to see with the Urska, the legendary Urska monster. Legendary at the end. Legendary, legendary. Let's go. All right, these are the four avatars. Easy clap. Avatar of Control for stagger damage. Avatar of Unity for shields and healing. Avatar of Subtlety for wounding. Avatar of Destruction for crit damage. We're going to go with the crit damage. Frostbite meters in the top there by the health bar. As you can see, it slowly goes up. If it reaches full, you freeze and lose the hunt. So make sure you keep that Frostbite meter low. This is the Ice Wolf. Let's go, guys. This is the Frost Ember Mate, but I call him Ice. Oh, yeah. Owls calls up some Frost Stixians and Wolf Pack. Try and get the puck here. He hops, so swipes, runs back and forth. He's like an Ember Mate. Show you the enrage. See that? Also a bunch of 
Ice Volcanoes gets mad at you. Oh boy! There's like this somersault. Here we got a Pangar. Is that the regular Nasher or the Deep Frost Nasher? Just the regular Nasher, unfortunately. But that's fine. Let's dispose of these two. Advance mount. Deep frost snarn. Deep frost snarn. All right, destructive unity is gonna give. Uh, okay, we don't need that. Uh, force is gonna give us two percent bonus attack. Yep. yep. Appreciate that. Looks like you pulled a resident Kiri. As I said, guys, if we don't encounter the uh, deep frost snarn and the deep frost nasher. I'll do a couple more runs, cross escalation runs, and I'll, I'll get those encounters in here for you too. But I'm really happy we got that nice Ice Wolf encounter for you guys to see the new animations. If you have any questions about anything in the video, of course, you can leave them in the comments below. I uh, check it often. So, no worries. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! There'll also be a link to the Discord and, and other things in the video description. Uh, you guys can feel free to join. We have like Dom's Bill Bouncy Room and Dom's News Channel. All sorts of stuff there as well. Oh, oh, oh. Live updates as they roll out from the partner Discord. You guys Scarn and Nasher. Right now. All right, let's get some more critical. Dragon Shroud. Okay, okay. Looks like I'll be throwing in a couple of extra runs for you guys. So after this, after this escalation run, I'm gonna clip to uh, 
like a deep frost scarn and a deep frost nasher and counters too. That's what we'll do. Easy clap. Urska, aka Minty. Destructive subtlety, thank you. 75% increase critical strike. So we're just pretty much going into fighting uh, Urska with massive crits, massive crit damage. It's kind of like the Granny Strick, Granny Strick, a crit tonic. Uh, thing that there used to be in the game. That's what this feels like. We're really enjoying the avatar of destruction. As a Chainblade user, it's really appreciated to have the extra deeps. This is newest Keystone Behemoth, Urska. Legendary Sabertooth Scorpion Ice Crazy Thing. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that Frost Escalation run. As I said, we're going to clip to the Deep Frost Skarn and the Deep Frost Nasher. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Cheers, lads. All right, guys. So this is the Deep Frost Nasher right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this encounter. So he looks a lot different. He's got the neon pink uh, mohawk there. Some frozen hairs. He does that dive instead of the swim back and forth. See, he does this big dive. And then the, you know, the, the OG tail slams, of course. But there's another move I want to show you guys that's really cool. The OG somersault, of course. Here it is. There it is. There's another move that he does with him. He does like this crazy tail swipe. I don't want him to lose his tail. I think he needs his tail. I can show you guys. There! The snowball! Whoa! <laughs> Well, those are some of the new moves from the Deep Frost Nasher. The snowball. The big slide. Here's the enrage. There it is, guys. Deep Frost Nasher. Alright, guys. So here is the final... Behemoth variant that we haven't seen yet, the Deep Frost Scar. It took uh, quite a few runs for me to actually encounter this, this guy, so I'm gonna get rid of the full shot and then we'll check out the Scar. Frost Scar. He's a nice, got a very nice shades of blue, got a little bit of purple tint in there too. There's the in range. Okay. See your spin. Spin to win! Pretty much the, looks the same. Oh. Okay, he has the ice, some ice spike, ice prison. Wherever you're located, you have to dodge that. There's his slide. He does like a full run slide, and you can actually interrupt him while he's doing it. So that's completely new. That a regular Skarn doesn't have. So, those are the moves from the new Deep Frost Skarn. Uh, really cool uh, Behemoth variants this time around. Pun intended. Hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. Alright lads, so I've set up my Frost Escalation Lantern to have uh, a pretty high DPS style build. And then... I also have most of the uh, Frostbite 10% slower amps as well. Uh, the only one I didn't use was this final one that makes the bar start at 50% or rapidly fill back to 50%. You really have to uh, do the run like super fast. Uh, it's like a super intense run and uh, I don't think it would be good for you guys to like just see everything that's happening i'd have to literally just slaughter the behemoths in like 20 seconds each so i'm gonna not put this one on i'm gonna put this one on instead warm-blooded uh so the first time you actually become frostbitten uh, it reduces your frostbite build up by 50 percent so if you combine these two amps together um then you can really do the fast runs and the first time you get frostbitten it just goes away and then you kill the boss and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go with the alternative route. All right, lads, so take note. Um, the new Urska armor, the headpiece and the chest piece will give you a plus three Cascade uh, when it's fully surged. Cascade is the all new uh, attribute or perk in Dauntless. So at plus six on Lantern Hold, it randomly generates four of the following boosts. Healing, stamina, power. Power boost duration is also increased and it gives a chance to generate an invincibility boost. So this is like the first time they've introduced kind of something like this 
into the game and it kind of has a little bit to do i think with the avatars in frost escalation so yeah if we take a look at the like i said the avatars in frost escalation and this new uh this new perk called cascade we're seeing a new branch of uh possible uh amplifiers for different styles of builds in dauntless all right, lads, last but not least, uh, I'm going to show you guys what's going to be available in the store in this upcoming patch. So we have a brand new glider that you guys can pick up for 400 platinum right here. It's very frosty, super awesome looking. Uh, and then other than that, we've got, here's the featured section. We've got this astronaut mega bundle that's going to be 26% off, giving you all sorts of things here. Nova Blaster Repeater Skin, as you can see here. Um, the Astronaut Lock Helm, the Astronaut Banner, Astronaut Constellation Sigil and Flare, and the Astronaut Sextant Lantern Skin. This is a huge package, so much content. Uh, they've also got the Astronaut Style Kit, if you just want a couple of things here. The Guiding Light Lantern, which I think has a trail on it. And then the Personal Snowstorm Emote. Here's the Nova Blaster Repeaters skin. You just want that. The Winter's Bite Booster Bundle. Yeah, so that's just some of the stuff that's going to be featured in the store on this upcoming patch. Uh, figured I'd let you guys have a look at that too. Alright guys, that concludes uh, the video about the realm of ice season featuring the hunt pass and the frost escalation i hope you guys enjoyed like i said before if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below i'll get to them as soon as possible uh, we're live on twitch we have a discord we got twitter check the video description for details on everything there hope to see you guys in ramsgate hope to see you guys in the stream join in on the hunts take part in the giveaways for elite hunt passes every season and much more. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.